So I'm here at the site. Uh, I uh, hooked up my uh, Mini Talon with uh, FPV gear. I used a, uh, if you can see that, it's a Pixhawk autopilot. And uh, this autopilot requires a separate uh, OSD. So I've used a Mavlink OSD, which I got, I think, from uh, RC Timer. I can't remember but it's a Mavlink OSD and uh, I had to install Minim OSD extra it took me quite a few nights of fiddling around because uh, it requires a, a firmware that matches a certain configuration tool in order for me to get a proper OSD overlay so that uh, that required quite a bit of work uh, the Pixhawk you know you use mission planner to set up your settings and everything it's it's quite a learning curve compared to uh, the other to learn how to configure this compared to the other uh, AP OSDs I've used in the past like the Vector, the MFD, the Cyclops Storm Tornado. This plane was also equipped with a let me zoom that in and if you could see that I can see from the screen but to say Hawkeye DTF uh, UHF uh, long range system. It is a open source running open LRS. And uh, this is the, the transmitter. It's rated 1 watt. Although I uh, really didn't get a chance to confirm that, I don't have the gear to, to test its uh, output power. But I've been using it for a uh, while. Well, I've moved this from uh, one airframe, started with a Bixler. I think I moved this in a Phantom as well. And uh, yeah, I'm getting really good range with even with uh, just you know this Diamond uh, SH uh, SRH771 antenna. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm basically using this for my planes for for quite a few months now. Now uh, this plane also. This is the first time I've used a Lawmate uh, VTX. Highly recommended by a friend of mine that I go by FPV. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with, uh, with, uh, with the performance of uh, this VTX. So that's a blue beam on my directional antenna from uh, IV Crazy. And uh, the GPS unit, this one is separate. I didn't buy this uh, from 3DR. This was uh, from eBay, and uh, yeah, I'm getting uh, 16, 17 uh, satellites when the plane uh, was up in the air and at the ground, uh, and in less than 30 seconds, I get a lock at eight satellites. So I was, uh, was pretty impressed with that for, I think it was just $37. Uh, what else? This plane is equipped with a, uh, this is the first time I've used this type of motors. It's a Parkfly 480, 910 kV. I like the performance. It actually can really push the plane fast, uh, drawing uh, 3.7, 3 3.8 amps, cruising at uh, an average of 50 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, that's uh, that's very efficient. Now, you know, of course, headwind it will, it will, will pull more amps. Uh, what else can I tell? This is a homemade uh, dipole uh, antenna, and uh, this has been the configuration I've been using uh, on all my uh, FPV planes. Basically, the, 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 the 433 antenna is on the wings. This was just uh, closer because I think this is a stock antenna that came with my range link. So I don't want to solder a, a new uh, coaxial cable and build a new one to put it here on the tip. So I just and it works. Uh, you know, my, my RSSI for uh, for this flight uh, is very decent, though. But I haven't really pushed it that far. This 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 flight is more of a uh, endurance uh, endurance test. So, anyways, this is a uh, this is my Mini Talon uh, equipped with uh, FPV gear, and uh, I'll uh, the next part of the video will be the actual flight. 
I uh, was able to fly my uh, mini Talon earlier uh, today. Um, I basically wanted to get a feel of the different flight modes that I've configured on a Pixhawk. I have a manual, uh, fly by wire A, cruise, and return to launch. So I chose those flight modes because coming from a Eagle Tree Vector, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with those flight modes. So I just basically used the same flight mode. So manual, manual, fly by wire A is, uh, I would say, 2D on uh, the Vector, or uh, is it pilot, pilot assist on a Cyclops Tornado uh, autopilot. Cruise would be uh, 2D hold on a a vector autopilot. So I'm pretty impressed that uh, cruise basically uh, based on the documentation it uh, sets uh, an imaginary target you know a heading one kilometer away and it keeps on when it hits that it sets it again it sets it again and uh, it will hold the altitude that uh, the plane was on when you switch to uh, cruise mode. Uh, I would say I'm, I'm Pretty impressed. Uh, it's very. This is stock. I would say configuration out of box. This. I mean, um, default. I didn't change any gain settings in the Pixhawk uh, through the Mission Planner. I just uh, adjusted uh, the return to return to launch uh, altitude. Basically, the uh, the altitude that uh, the plane will follow heading back to, to home when you switch to that flight mode and uh, the radius so I set it at 100 and 100 so radius of 100 from point of home and it circles around I've uh, tried it a couple of times and uh, it, it is pretty accurate it uh, goes sometimes goes below 100 97 98 but it tries to keep uh, maintaining that 100 meter uh, altitude and uh, radius so here, when I reached the 5 kilometer mark, I uh, switched to fly by wire A flight mode. This allows me to, you know, turn the, the plane uh, nicely and smoothly to head back to, uh, to home. And as uh, soon as I was able to turn, and you can see the arrow, the arrow basically will point that way, meaning that's where home is. I switched uh, to switch back to cruise uh, flight mode. So at this point, I'm trying to turn the plane to follow, I believe, heading 30 or 35. And uh, as you can see, th there's a bit of headwind uh, going back, but the plane is very efficient. I was able to uh, cruise uh, around an average of 50 kilometers per hour and basically just pull it, pulling less than 5 amps so yeah it's a it's, it's a good uh, those numbers are really good for uh, if, you're, if I'm gonna do long range flights so uh, just a bit of a you know uh, overview of my OSD overlay uh, again this is a minim, a Mavlink OSD uh, with a minim uh, OSD extra firmware. So on the left side is the flight mode. On top of that, it's my RSSI. I'm flying this with a uh, Hawkeye DTF UHF uh, LRS system, open source, and uh, it has a box and antenna on it. On the top mo middle is my heading. Right side would be the number of satellites. Again, this is very impressive. I I didn't get the 3D or uh, uh, GPS module from GDR, as I mentioned on the first part of the video, uh, but I got you know a, a cheaper version. But yeah, if you notice, I, I got 18 satellites as soon as the, the plane was up in the air. Uh, below that is my ground speed in uh, you know kilometers per hour. Opposite that is my altitude. Below that is uh, my flight time. Below the flight time is uh, my voltage reading. Uh, flying this with a 3S uh, Nanotech 6000 uh, milliamp hour pack. And then beside that is my distance to home. Uh, battery consumption underneath is uh, and above that is my uh, amp draw. 
So basically, I tried to you know copy the layout that I am using on my other OSDs, uh, like the vector and the my flight dream. It's just easier for me to you know to look at the numbers when uh, when I'm flying this uh, plane long range. At around 350 uh, meters from home, I switched to uh, return to launch flight mode. And uh, if you notice on the left side of the screen, the altitude uh, reading, the plane is diving. It's trying to dive and uh, hit its uh, set uh, return to launch uh, altitude. In my case, I set it 100 meters. And uh, it will silk, silk around uh, with a radius of 100 meters. So uh, at this point, I just flew the plane for another 10 minutes just to see how much uh, uh, battery uh, I'll burn in the next uh, you know, 10 minutes and use that to use the numbers for my uh, next uh, long range flights. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you, you know, picked up something from this uh, Maiden with FPV video on the Mini Talon and uh, please do like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.